So PlayStation update passes big milestone, Spider-Man 2 DLC, and Sony is hyping the launch of their next PlayStation 5 exclusive. And those are the stories we're going to go over today. And if you could hit that like button on the video, thank you to those that do it. And as always, it's very much appreciated. First, yes or no, have you finished Spider-Man 2 or not? It's quickly fast approaching a year since the launch of Spider-Man 2, which is crazy to say. Time needs to slow down just a bit. But have you finished the game yet or not? So comment below, yes or no, if you've finished Spider-Man 2 or not, let me know down in the comments below. Now, diving into the first story of the video, PlayStation Update passes big milestone. Reading from Push Square, Sony has shared in its first fiscal year 2024 financials report that 2.4 million PlayStation 5 consoles were sold during quarter one, meaning the current gen system has now sold 61.7 million units overall. This is a decrease of 900,000 purchases when stacked against the same period last year, though Sony did make gains in other sectors like an increase in operating income and improved game software and network services sales. The millions in yen Sony has generated is at its highest in an entire year across network services, which it states is due to PlayStation Plus. Sales of PlayStation 5 and PS4 titles dropped by almost 2 million compared to quarter one in fiscal 2023, down to 53.6 million. Of those, 6 million purchases were for a first party game published by Sony. While some comparisons are down, the ratio of physical Physical to digital purchases on PlayStation is at its highest for a year. 80% of all games sold across PlayStation 5, PS4 were for a digital copy sourced from the PlayStation Store. Following its quarter one figures report, the company has revised its gaming division's forecast slightly, increasing its sales and operating income by 3%. Speaking to VGC, industry analyst Dr. Serkan Toto said the numbers are actually quite solid for what has been a quiet period for PlayStation Studios output. The big weak spot, however, is hardware sales. The year-on-year -year drop is not surprising, but quite significant. Sony can only hope that Astrobot or one of the other new games coming this year will make people go out and buy PS5s again. So I think people you know, need to remember that we've been talking about the PS5 Pro for quite a while now. I think Probably some people are waiting on that. Also consider what has Sony really pushed in April, May, and June, because that's what this represents. We had Stellar Blade in April, which was pretty good, but that's just one title, so this makes sense. Now, I will be getting Astrobot, but I don't think that's really a console seller, so what Sony needs to do is hype people for the future. I would think a PlayStation Showcase or some sort of event like that will get people excited, and also, if the PlayStation 5 Pro launches this year, a permanent price drop for the base PlayStation 5 would also push PlayStation 5 console sales as well. The pros don't end up being the big console seller, but it will also push new sales for the PlayStation 5 in general as well. Passing 60 million is solid, now at 61.7 million consoles sold. The next quarter might also be low considering July, August, and September is the next quarter. The next big PlayStation 5 exclusives are Black Myth Wukong this month, which is exclusive only because it got delayed on Xbox, and of course Astrobot in September. Again, a September showcase would get people excited, but <laughs> let's see how that goes. And if you're enjoying the video so far, hit that subscribe button and join our growing community on our way to 150,000 subscribers. Now, diving into the second story of the video, Sony is hyping up their next exclusive. Looking out to the rest of the year, Sony has Concord, Astrobot, Until Dawn, Silent Hill 2, and Horizon Adventures still on the way. Two of those games are getting a good chunk of shine currently, with Astrobot getting a lot of shine from being at various events with full sections dedicated to Astro to Sony, continually promoting Astro on their social platforms, to just recently announcing one of their best-looking DualSense controllers for the game that launches on the same day as the game. The game launches this September 6. We are less than a month away from the game's launch and Sony is once again hyping it up with a slightly new trailer for Astro's PlayStation Studios intro. The caption reads, this is a precursor to Astro Bot's launch on PlayStation 5 just one month away. If you're a Jack and Daxter fan, then even before seeing the video, you probably thought about the first Jack and Daxter game, Jack and Daxter the Precursor Legacy, and not long after thinking about that, you end up seeing Jack and Daxter 
uh, cameo is coming up on the screen. I know people want another Jack and Daxter game, and trust me, those were my favorite from the big three back in the day, being Sly Cooper, Ratchet and Clank, and Jack and Daxter. But I think Sly Cooper deserves a proper ending to the series with another game. Jack and Daxter had Jack 1, 2, 3, Jack X, Jack Frontier, and Daxter on PSP. And all of those games are playable on PlayStation 5 locally, and Ratchet and Clank still gets new games to this day. We need more Sly Cooper. Out of the big three, we need another Sly Cooper game. But putting that side argument in the back burner, uh, I'm happy to see Sony heavily promote a game like Astro, like I've said before, and I can't wait for September 6th. But you guys let me know if you've got Astrobot pre-ordered or not. Let me know down in the comments below. And now diving into the final story of the video, Spider-Man 2 DLC. So to keep this quick, we know from the leaks that Insomniac has or had plans to release multiple DLCs for Spider-Man 2. This includes the first one being Beetle Infestation, then you have Extreme Carnage, and finally Spider-Verse Anomaly. We got a leak earlier this year from Insomniac Games themselves showcasing the Beetle DLC. We saw this happen via their own dev menu on Spider-Man 2. People have been wondering what is going on with the DLCs. Are they coming and Insomniac has once again spoken up. A user over on X asked Insomniac about the DLC, any news on the DLC, and Insomniac replied with, we don't have anything new to announce. I personally don't know why Insomniac still responds to these tweets if they have nothing to say, and obviously that's what they're going to say if they are going to say something. They haven't officially announced anything, so they're not just going to mention progress, if any, on these DLCs on a reply. I just hope Insomniac shows up at the potential PlayStation. 5 Pro event later this year and that will give us an actual indication of what might be happening over at Insomniac Games. If they show off Venom for example then yeah Wolverine is probably a 2026 title. If they give us a Wolverine trailer then maybe Venom is pushed back later. If they show us DLC then maybe the first DLC is probably actually going to release very soon compared to the announcement of the DLC. So maybe in December sim similar to uh, how God of War Ragnarok's DLC released last Last December, especially since we saw the dev menu just months ago for the Beetle Infestation DLC. It seems like that could be an actual thing that drops later this year, but we'll see how this goes. September is around the corner, but you guys let me know if you're excited to see what Insomniac has coming next or not. Let me know down in the comments below, and if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. As it always helps, and subscribe if you're new. I got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and now I'll check you guys out on the next one. And welcome back to the after show. This is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below. If you're old, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. For today's thing, what I want you guys to do is to body, obliterate, destroy, and overall harass the comments section with we are getting closer. Obviously, this is in reference to the next PlayStation event. Whether that's a showcase or a PlayStation meeting for the PlayStation 5 Pro, I don't care what it's called. I'm just hoping that there's something exciting there from PlayStation First Party. And if you're excited for that, destroy the comments section with we are getting closer. And I'll definitely heart those comments like I always do because I appreciate everybody who stays to the end of my videos. And now, I'll check you guys out on the next one. We were destined for something great.